Hi everyone, it's Kaz and Mayapashi channel. Welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, I will be doing my round 20 for tips and previous and go over my round 23 tips. If you are a 10 Kaz and Mayapashi, welcome, welcome and share if you're new to the channel, watch this for the first time. Welcome and share subscribe. Now, I did pick Sydney, I don't know why on the ESPN was SNM when I did pick Sydney. I don't know if I changed it or someone changed it for a joke, who knows, but Definitely I'm going to say I got that one correct. Um, the only ones I didn't get correct was Gold Coast Suns, that was incorrect. Um, I got Collingwood correct and the Giants, which was I'm very happy with. I didn't get the Crows or the Cats right, so that was another one incorrect. I did pick the Bulldogs and, and got that one correct. Picked Hawthorne, got that correct, and picked the Eagles as well and got that one incorrect as well. So not a great start. Now, can we do, let's get on to the round 24 tips and previews. Melbourne versus Collingwood at the MCG. Now, this is going to be a cracking game of football. But Collingwood, well, believe it or not, we need to win by 100 points. Carlton to lose by 100 points and Freo to lose as well for us to make it. But I don't think that's going to ever happen. Looks like for me, season's over. But having said that, too, Collingwood are in much better form against the Dees. Now, when you look at the last time we played them as well, we played them in King's Birthday and defeated them pretty convincingly by 38 points. And, we, and that was back in round 13. But we've also had a very good record as well. We've won four of the last five against the Dees. So we look the goods. Now, it is a home game for Melbourne. So. It is an away game for them. Their fans won't show up. We will show up because of it. And I think because of the way that Melbourne are playing, they've only had the one win out of the four matches. And that was up against the Suns. We've had three wins and two losses as well. Losses to the Swans and also the Hawks. Having said that, I'm confident that we'll get the job done. Um, would I rest Penderbury this week? No, I'd play him this week. I think you've got enough time for next year to try and um, manage him through pre-season as well. I think you'll manage him during the week as well. But having said that too, I'm going to pick, pick the pies to get the job done. And I'm going to say we'll win by 50 points in a real easy performance. For sure, you can't trust Melbourne yet. The Cats versus the Eagles, well, in Jim HBA Stadium, 1.45. Now, Geelong's top four chances go into the balance here with a win of the Eagles. I'm going to say that even though West Coast have improved somewhat, winning two of the last three, but geez, Geelong will run three now. He lost to the Saints and also lost to the Bulldogs as well. This could be a danger game, but I'm confident that won't be. I'm going to say the Cats will win by seven points and just get them right up for finals as well. Richmond versus the Suns. Will, Mel will Richmond fans show up because they've got Stuart Broad, Sam Naismith, and also Dustin Martin, Farewell, and in it too. Um, having said that as well, it's at the MCG, so this is a game where they can potentially win, but the Suns have been more impressive than what the Tigers have been at the moment. And I'm going to say, with the results, I'm still going to be back in the Suns. Y yes, the win against Essendon was an away win. I reckon they'll win the second game away from home and I reckon they'll win by 45 points in a real easy game. Now Hawthorne versus North Melbourne Twilight in Tasmania. This should be a real cracking game as well. I'm gonna pick the Hawks. I think the Hawks will be a bit too strong. They have to win to pretty much secure final results as they are currently 7th on the ladder and could potentially miss out if Fremantle win as well. So 
there's a few teams that could potentially miss. Um, they may not because of the they've got a high percentage in Carlton. But having said that, I really do feel like this game could be a 69 point win. And I'm going to back in the Hawks to get the job done there. Brisbane versus the Bombers on Saturday night, 7.30, up at the Gabba. Now, Brisbane need to win to keep their finals hub, final top four hopes alive. But even if Geelong win, um, it's not going to matter too much. Brisbane have won three and lost two. The only issue is with Brisbane Lions, if it's a close game, they struggle against, they struggle against the Giants. There was a struggle on that. They just got the job done against the Swans as well. Um, but having said that too, um, the, this is a game where they need to win to play finals and why not? Last time they decided to merit a 42 point win back in round nine in 2023. Essendon have only won one out of five, while Brisbane have dominated as well. Now, because the last win that Essendon's had at the Gabba was round 17, 2022, I think Brisbane will be too good, and I'm going to say they win by 44 points. Swans versus the Crows up at the SCG, it does not mean anything to these two sides. Round 14, 2024 was the last time these sides met. A 42 point win to the Swans. But we all know that the Swans have won four of the last four games as well. So having said that as well, um, this should be a, an opportunity. There's been two close games out of it. But it's at the SCG. And this is where I think it's going to boil down to what the Swans can do. I think they'll win by 30 points. And I think they should cruise home for victory as well. Bulldogs versus the Giants up at Mars Stadium in Ballarat. Now, you could argue this game could have been under the roof at Marvel, but having said that too, the Giants have been in great form, winning five of the last five matches, and the Bulldogs have won three and lost, well, won four and lost one, but they did beat the Giants by 27 points as well back in round 10. And if you look back further, the Giants have fought pretty much only won one and they've lost four. So it is interesting indeed to see what does come out of it. Um, but I do think it will be a closer game than what people think. I think the Giants are in much better form. Yes, the Bulldogs are in, well, they got the, the wood over the Giants. This is a rivalry that can happen and they could potentially play in finals, who knows? But I'm going to say the Giants really need to win by 22 points as well. And I would not be surprised. Carlton versus Saints at Marvel Stadium. Now, this is a huge game. It means nothing to St Kilda, but they've won four of the last five. And Carlton won two of the last five as well. So they're not in great form. And last time they played at Marvel was around 21, 2023 when they won by 90 points. But you look at these two sides, right? The only games that Carlton has won was... The two times that Carlton won was around 21, 2023 and also around 20, 2021 when they won by 31 points. Now because this is a Carlton home game as well. The last time that St Kilda did beat them at Marvel Stadium was around 6 2025 that was their home game as well. So I would not be surprised if anything that you look at form that you think well, St Kilda actually played this ground really really well and I think you got to back him in somewhat 
to, to do really well. And I think in that aspect, I'm going to say the Saints will win by 29 or 28 points, I should say. But I can easily say that it can go, e you know, it could go either way. But Carlson have only won two. The Saints have only won, well, three of the last two. So, um, again, this is a huge game as well. Freya versus the power now in a must win game. Now, Freya have won two and lost three. Poor are in great form, but the teams they beat Melbourne, who they should be winning, and Melbourne are in great form. The Tigers. Beat the boys to give them credit for. And obviously the showdown. But the Dockers have lost to the Giants. Geelong, in which they normally win. And the Bombers, which hurts. But they did defeat the Ds and also the Eagles in the Derby as well. Having said that, Round 5 2024 was the last time these sides met. At the Adelaide Oval. This time it's in Perth. And we know that Freo play a lot better in Perth than what they do. Um, this should be a huge game as well. Having said that, too, that the Power have actually won four. And the Dockers have won one as well. So, we normally I would say put out away because we probably might need Pile to win and say Gilda win. But... Something tells me that Fremantle season's on the line here. A win, and they're in the eight, a loss, and they could potentially miss out. Now, one thing I will say as well on top of it is that even if the Blues lose, right, they will try, if, if it's a draw, for example, Hawthorne will go to eighth, and Fremantle will go to seventh, and Carlton will miss out. So there's no guarantees whatsoever that a draw will save Carlton as well. So with that, I'm going to say Fremantle by 17 points. I think it will be a real tight game as well. Hope you guys like the video. Don't forget to drop a like as well as dropping the sub. Bye for now.